On Samsung phones, there is a secret code that not many people know about. It allows you to access a hidden menu inside the system, through which you can update important components in the phone, like the touchscreen, the pen, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. This code is called the TSP Firmware Update Menu, and it's not just a regular update, it works on things that don't get updated through the normal system updates. Follow along for a full explanation of this menu and how to use it safely to get the most out of your phone. How to open the secret menu. Open the dialer, the app you use to make calls. Enter the following code. Asterisk number sign, 2663 number sign. This code might not work on all devices or software versions. If you get a screen that says connection problem or invalid MMI code, that means your phone doesn't support this code. So if it works for you, you're one of the lucky ones. Make sure to take advantage of it. You'll see a screen full of hidden details and updates. Let's understand what's inside this menu. 1. TSPFW Update Touchscreen Panel This means updating the software that controls the touchscreen sensitivity. If your screen feels slow or unresponsive, this update might solve the issue. One warning, when you tap this button, leave the phone alone until the update finishes. Don't turn it off or do anything. Second, Wacom FW Update. This is for the pen if your phone includes one, like the Note or Ultra series. This software controls the accuracy and responsiveness of the pen, and it improves with the update. Third, Refresh Wi-Fi version. When you tap this, the phone will restart and update the internal Wi-Fi firmware. Useful if you're facing internet drops or connection issues. Vierte Bluetooth version. In the menu, you can see the full Bluetooth version. This helps technicians when there are issues. These updates are usually meant for technicians, but Samsung has left them open for users who know the code. And there are no known risks from using it. The code is safe, but if your phone has other problems, like hardware issues, this won't be a magic fix. This update doesn't change the system UI, Android version, or One UI. It doesn't erase any data. It doesn't need root access or special permissions. It's not dangerous for the device, but you must let the update finish completely. Tell us your thoughts in the comments. Did the code work for you? Did you notice any difference in performance? If you liked the video, don't forget to share it with your friends who use Samsung phones. There are many people who may have touchscreen or pen issues and don't know that the solution is already inside their phone.